Hi guys, welcome back to the channel. On today's video, I'm gonna show you how I was able to achieve the perfect melt pool using wooden wicks. So keep on watching, yeah! Hi guys, welcome back to the channel. I just wanna make a, a test. An HD test and a burn test for my brand new two candles for my candle line that is coming up early next year. Here they are. Look at how beautiful perfection uh, using oh my god, the CT guys. The CT. If I get a good HD for these two candles, guys, I'm gonna be I feel like I'm gonna feel like I hit the jackpot because I've been searching, I've been spending so much money on different fragrance oils from all the companies that I come across um, so far uh, for the for the city that I really love the most uh, I found this gardenia scent from candlesandsupplies.net and this is Palo Santo and Topaz also from the same company I'm gonna link it below uh, if you saw my last video you're gonna see uh, how I made the candles okay so here they are and I decided to use wooden wicks so I have two different wooden wicks configurations. I have a point uh, from the wooden wick company, the point two series, and the size is uh, 0 0.6 to 5. Um, from this one, I use point, point two also. Uh, and this is the, the, the crackle uh, booster one, the booster wick, okay? So that's what I used, and I used two of, uh, two of those. So let's see how it goes, hopefully with no issues, because as you know, wooden wicks, uh, can be uh, temperamental at the beginning. So what I did with this guy is uh, when I uh, when I pour the, the wax, I make sure that I pour the wax all over the uh, the wooden wicks also, because it needs something to uh, keep the flame going, and that's how it keeps itself on. But it always does like, like this, you know, like hopefully it will keep on. And right now it's 10 minutes to 12 noon. It's the flame, yes, yeah, success! Beautiful. Okay, so then let me light the other one. This one, the Palo Santo, uh, the Palo Santo has uh, the booster wicks. Oh my God, it's throwing such a beautiful smell. Okay, let me just try this one now. And guys, um, this is like a test candles. I just wanted to see which uh, wooden wick will uh, perform better. So I use uh, the booster in one and the plane in the other one. So look how big this is going, uh, the flame is going. And I'm pretty sure the booster is gonna be too much uh, heat for the candle, but you know what? We are, we're testing this on the top floor and the other one I'm gonna keep in here because I wanna see how uh, it throws uh, the scent, okay? So I'm gonna keep this one, the Palo Santo that has the boosters on this room because this room is the biggest one. I'm very happy with the flame, guys. It's just the secret to a uh, good wooden wick is to trim the wick very short and to soak the uh, soak the wick with, uh, with the wax as you. The other one I'm gonna put upstairs. Okay, and I'll bring it back. Okay, guys, so we have the candle here. Look how beautiful the flame. Beautiful, and it's throwing good scent, guys. I'm getting it right, right, right over here. It's beautiful, oh my God, I'm so happy, guys. You don't know how happy. To me, this is the, uh, the culmination of months of testing, you know, Spend, after spending so much money and hours of testing and just not being happy with the results of, uh, of my test. You know, I like to, uh, I really wanna use wooden wicks on mine. I think it looks more, more elegant, more sophisticated, and more like the, it's different than, than the regular wi uh, cotton wig. And yeah, so I'm very happy with this guys. So I'm gonna wait a couple of hours. Okay guys, so it's been 10 minutes. Uh, I can tell that uh, these, uh, these candles having two wigs is way too much. So what I'm going to do uh, is I'm going to remelt uh, both candles and I'm gonna put one wig. Okay guys, so I took the candle from upstairs and I blew it out and I'm gonna remelt it. I'm gonna only put, oh my God, it's, the smell is, in, is incredible, guys, incredible. So I'm gonna do the same thing in here. This is the one with the wicks, and as you can see, the flame is very high, and I'm, I have almost completed a uh, melt pool, and it's only been uh, 15 minutes. So I'm gonna blow this one out. 
and again, I'm gonna be melted, and I'm gonna make only, I'm gonna only gonna put uh, one week, okay? And whether I put a booster, I think I'm gonna put the one with the booster, only one, and and see how it goes. Okay, so let's see, guys. Let's remelt the candles. And uh, what I'm gonna do, let me show you. So these candles are so big, they don't fit on any of my pots, so I'm just gonna put them in here. Let me just get some alcohol. Okay, so I put the candle upside down, and I'm gonna melt it with the, uh, so I'm gonna try to melt the, the candle. I don't want to damage the, I don't want to damage the glass. You know, that's why I have to be very careful. I'm pretty sure guys that I could, I could have used, let me just. I'm pretty sure I'm gonna make another candle with this oil guys, but I'm gonna use 8% because I'm pretty sure that I can get away with 8% with the strength that this is throwing guys. Uh, I don't need to, I, I definitely don't need to use 10% uh, fragrance oil it, from the wood from the wooden wick and let me just remelt this and let's get back into business so now i know that I, i'm pretty sure and if i do between six and eight percent uh fragrance oil this will be this will be great because this is giving me a lot very strong okay guys so i'm gonna do some uh, another experiment since i have the wax in here it's solidified you know what i'm gonna do guys i'm gonna do uh i think the hd is way too heavy for the candle, so I'm gonna put, I'm gonna take a quarter out. I'm gonna take a quarter of the candle out, of the wax out, and I'm gonna put fresh new, uh, fresh new wax. 10% uh, fragrance oil, guys, is way too potent. If, if it gave me the hot throw that, that I, uh, that I got in only 15 minutes, can you imagine in an hour, it's too much that the candle calls for 12.1 ounce of wax and 1.4 ounces of, uh, of oil. So let me see, hold on. Equals 13 and a half. Okay, 13 and a half ounces of wax completely with the fragrance and everything, okay? So I'm gonna, I'm gonna put in here, instead of 13 and a half ounces, I'm gonna put, uh, let me just get some of this wax in here. 13.5, perfect. Okay, so I'm just gonna get rid of all these in here. And this is gonna be my first candle. Okay guys, so I have a new vessel, prep, uh, Ready? With one wick, I am, I'm only using one uh, crackling wick, uh, the regular one, 0 0.02, and the width is at 0.625 inches. So I'm gonna get uh, this melted now. Okay, so let's check the temperature on this one. I wanna make sure that everything gets mixed together, all the new uh, the new waxes and the old one. So on, the, I'm removing the, uh, the wax from the other candle, guys. I should have done it before. I took out the, the wooden wicks with a, uh, with a pair of pliers before. So it, it don't, it's not as messy. I'm just gonna melt it. I'm not gonna, I don't need to go as high as, as, as I did the, the first time because everything is, you know, it's basically melted. I just want the, the new wax to uh, grab the, the, the oil and the other additives. And I'm pretty sure uh, the, in one week it's gonna be uh, good enough. But you never know guys, you know, Candles can be very temperamental, you know, it's it's all on the testing, you know, sometimes one candle works, sometimes the other one doesn't. 164, okay, I'm gonna keep it there, I just wanna melt the wax, that's all. So the wooden we will soak the, uh, we'll grab the, the wax, that's what's gonna help to, when you light it up, so the wick will, otherwise you have to uh, keep, you have to keep the flame, that's what happened to me before, uh, that you have to keep the, flame, uh, the lighter going, until the wax really takes into the wick, you know, that's gonna feel the, the flame. So that's what happens. And that's, I keep giving up on, on the wooden wick because I, the wooden wick kept like going out of me. And it's because of that, because I didn't have the patience to really like, or the knowledge that I have to suck the, the wooden wick. Okay, this is centered to perfection. And one thing that I also learned guys, don't cut this to size, because if you need to alter the, the position of, of the wick, either by side by side, um, you won't be able to. So I'm gonna leave a, a tiny little bit over at the rim so I can adjust if I need to. Okay, let me just, I see a little bubble here, so let me just get rid of it. That was the only one, okay. Okay, now let's do the other one. So in the meantime, I need to clean this very well because I don't want any fragrance oil to, to transfer into my other candles, so I'll be right back. Okay, so here are the two candles. I went ahead and I put new uh, wooden wicks. This time I'm gonna, I put one of each, the one on the left, I put a uh, regular, uh, 0 0.02, um, and this one I put 0 0.02 uh, booster wick. 
both of them are the same uh, width, which is 0.625. In both of them, uh, I put uh, fresh wax because uh, the, the scent was too strong. I should uh, make it lower. I should make it at least uh, 6%. Or even lower you know so let's see how this works out i'm very happy with the uh both ascents so let's see how this works out tomorrow when i'll do another test okay i'll see you tomorrow hi guys welcome back to the channel so today we are back in my living room this is part two of the video that i started um two days ago about creating my my new babies or my new vessel so it turned out like the two wooden wicks were uh, way, way too much uh, heat for this so i exchanged them so i'm using now a single wick wooden wick and company so in one of the candles, I'm using uh, the booster wick, and in the other candle, I'm using the, pr the plain uh, crackling wick, okay? So let's see how this works out. Uh, like I told you before video, I'm using my two favorite fragrance oils that I found, uh, Gardenia and Palo Santo and to Topaz. And guys, uh, I have to be honest with you guys, I have never done a candle that smells so strong as this using these two oils. As a matter of fact, uh, the fragrance, uh, the, uh, the hot throw, the heat throw, whatever, the hot throw that I was throwing uh, on, the, on both candles, it was so intense that it filled up the room in 15 minutes. So what I did is, uh, as I uh, changed the, the wig, I remelted the wax, I took away a quarter of the wax, and I put a brand new wax in here to uh, make sure that it was less potent. And even with that, it's giving me an intense uh, fragrance. And even from here, you know, it's... But you know what, guys? I'm doing this because people complain about not having enough uh, centro, hot throw. So, come on. That's my love over there. So that's what I did. So I'm going to turn this. I'm going to uh, ignite the, uh, the flame in here. And I'm going to put it right there on my dining room. This one is the gardenia one. And this is the plain uh, crackling wick number two, zero two. And uh, the size is uh, 0 0.6, 0 0.625. Okay, so let's go and do it. Okay, looking good. So like I told you guys, the secret wooden wicks is as you pour the wax, you have to put it on top of the wick. So uh, you cut the wick entirely uh, with the wax uh, because these uh, wooden wicks are very temperamental. So as you can see, it's burning now, then it shuts itself down and then as, as it grabs uh, the wax, then it comes back to life. So let me just turn it around this way. I'm gonna wait a few seconds until uh, the flame gets established. Just turn you guys around. And I'm gonna put it right in the, in the credenza over there. This is the Palo Santo, and, and this one has the, uh, the booster wick. I'm gonna light it up, and I'm gonna put it upstairs. Guys, I already smell. I already smell the gardenia candle. Can you believe that? It's that intense. Okay, so I'm gonna wait for the flame to get established. Again, guys, when you do wooden wicks, it's good to cut it. I think I left it too long. You're supposed to cut it like an eighth of an inch, okay? Because it doesn't need to have a, too much wood coming up on the wax. Okay, so I'm going upstairs and I'll be right back. Okay, guys, uh, it's been not even five minutes and I already smelled the gardenia flower. You know, I hope that's a good thing. Uh, now, I just, I'm assuming that the reason why it's smelling so strong is because it has bivar and stearic acid. I'm not sure. So the next candle that I'm gonna make, I'm not gonna use bivar because uh, the strong, uh, the smell is so strong that I don't think I need it. And also guys, it's it's good because I'm gonna be I'm making the next candle that I'm gonna be making with this scent. I'm gonna be using half the amount of, of the oil. So instead of 10%, I'm gonna be using 5%. I think it, it could handle it, you know, very well. And, and that's great because then you only have to use half the amount that you use for the other candles, you know? So uh, this one, the Gardini one, which is more more potent than the other one, uh, I'm gonna make it uh, 5%. Palo Santo, in the other hand, it's a little bit more uh, less strong. So that one I'm gonna try doing uh, 8% and and let's see how it goes. Uh, the candles are, are looking great, so I'm gonna come back in an hour, guys. Uh, in the meantime, I'm just gonna be taking care of the pets. Uh, I'll talk to you in an hour, okay? Yes! Okay, guys, so let me show you. Uh, it's been uh, 10 minutes, and it's looking great. Uh, the male pool is for, it's, uh, forming. The flame is beautiful. 
Uh, the, the, uh, the HD, it's intoxicating. It's really wonderful, guys, that it's filling up the room. And as you can see, the, the room is pretty big, you know? I'm just... No, it's a pretty big room. So... I'm very happy with this. Uh, but like I told you before, I think the next candle that I make, I will be using this oil. I'm gonna use half the amount because I think uh, for being on for 10 minutes, I think it's, it's throwing... Uh, too strong of a HD for me, you know? Maybe other people will like that, but uh, I think it needs to be uh, less strong. So we'll see, okay? I'll talk to you in an hour, bye! And this is the Palo Santo candle. Uh, the scent is strong, but it's not as strong as the, as the gardenia. Uh, the flame is kind of high, but that's my fault because I should have, uh, you know what, let me just, I'm gonna shut this up and I'm gonna trim the wick and I'm gonna light them up again because I think it's throwing way too much of a flame, okay? I'll be right back. So guys, whenever you see a flame that high, it's because you didn't trim the wick short enough. So I'm gonna just extinguish the flame and I'm just gonna uh, light it up again. I'm gonna trim the wick because I think the wick is too big, too tall. That's why it's giving me such a high flame. So let me just extinguish this. Um, I'm gonna wait a few minutes until it cools a little bit down and then I'm gonna trim it and light it up again. Okay, so guys, when you uh, trim the wig, I don't wanna have any of the carbon deposits fall into the, in, fall into the wax, so I'm just gonna have this paper towel and I'm just gonna trim the wig, okay? Perfect, let me just light it up again if I can find the lighter. That's much better. Okay, so I'm, I'm gonna go upstairs and I'm gonna do the same thing. Hi guys, welcome back. So it's been an hour and an hour and five minutes, guys. Again, I just wanna show you the um, how my candles are doing, my babies, for my candle romance. Let me just turn the lights on here. So you can see the background even better. So I have Milo over there, Sasha over there, Philippine. Okay, so let's take a look at the candle, guys. So I'm bringing... So impressed with the HD. I'm gonna even have to lower it down because I think it's too much. You know, so this is the candle and I still don't have a full melt pool, but it's only been an hour. So I'm very happy with the progress and I love the sound it makes. You know, it's like crackling wood and beautiful. So let's go upstairs and let's see how Palo Santo is doing. That one is the, uh, the gardenia. So let's go upstairs. Okay, so this is the, uh, the wooden wick with the booster. I have to say it's doing the same as the other one. So I have no complaints and yeah, I'm almost like a like a quarter of an inch before I reach a complete melt pool. Again, I love the flame. Look at how beautiful it is. It's nice and steady, you know, clean flame. I don't see any black smoke uh, coming out of the flame, which is, which is a good thing. So I'm gonna keep waiting for another hour. And yeah, so so far, guys, I'm very happy. You know, it's it's been such uh, great news for me after testing for so many months, you know that this is really working out for me now. So yeah, so I'm gonna leave it for one more hour and I'll be right back. I have to say guys that uh, the fragrance in the whole house is intoxicating. Oh my God, that gardenia, it's amazing guys. I never thought that I could be able to achieve such a strong HD from any fragrance. Again, I don't know whether, it, I think it's the fragrance itself or it's just in here concentrated. Okay, so I see. Let's see if this is in here how much I should use. Uh, it says, do not use more than recommended amount. Oh my God, it's, it's amazing. So I ordered a 16 ounce uh, jar of this. The same with the Palo Santo and Topaz. It says do not use in candle gel, on, on the gel form, you know, the, the transparent gel that you do cubes, stuff like that. Um, I'm not doing that, so it's fine to do the, uh, um, on my candle. Okay guys, so I'm gonna wait another hour and, my, and I'll be back. Oh yes guys, I have to say, I'm very impressed this is the first time I ever, ever on any candle been able to achieve such perfection. You know, uh, the flame is beautiful. It's, it's burning very cleanly, you know? And yeah, so let's go downstairs and let's sh check on the other one. I'm telling you the, the hot throw with that Palo Santo guys, is everything. It's amazing. So let's check on the other one, the gardenia. Oh my God, and I'm going down the stairs and I smell the beautiful gardenia fragrance. Yay, success. I am so happy, guys. I'm so happy. Okay, guys, so let's go check out the other candle that we have burning up right here. This is the gardenia candle that I've been smelling 
The hot throw on this is amazing, amazing. This has beautiful metal. The flame looks beautiful. And I just have a tiny, tiny little bit on the, on the edge of the glass. Can you see it? That's the only bit that I see how to melt, but with time it's gonna melt. Okay guys, so I'm, I'm very happy with the results. I'm, I'm pretty sure these two fragrances, Palo, Palo Santo and Topaz and Gardenia are gonna be uh, signature fragrances for my candle romance. Okay guys, so let me just go back to the Christmas tree and guys, I hope you all have a Merry Christmas. And also I just wanna uh, remember guys, if you haven't subscribed to my channel, please do so and give it a like to the video because that helps me grow in my channel and share my content with all people that you think may like my content. And don't forget to check also my other channel, Hello Living with Michael. Uh, the link is below on the description box. Okay guys, so until the next video guys, Merry Christmas, bye.